Hey, what's going on everybody? I have had a lot of people reach out about this beautiful goat minibus that is up here with Donk, Chip, Winnie, and Moo. So let's check this out. Today's main project is to build this enclosure. As you can see, I upcycled a couple different panes of glass that happened to be the size I needed in these short little metal frames, I took a old uh, playset ladder, courtesy of Dave Martinez, um, that I had actually taken a long time ago, figured there'd be some use for it, and here it is. So, as you can see, I did this, I enclosed it a little bit better, uh, just because of the way the bus is facing, with the wind and the winter and everything, it'll be better this way. And cut down on that, let's come on inside. So as you can see, I just, not a regular bus. So, I took a hay feeder that the old owners had. I put some new fencing in it and hung it in here, which was perfect to go under my shelf. Obviously, I have the bedding area down top, down the bottom, bedding area up top. Little one here. Moo was in this one last night. Moo also, I caught her climbing up here. Now this whole thing moves, this folds up, locks into there. There's storage underneath there. Obviously some couch cushions. I'm waiting to see if they chew on them, if they lay on them, what they do with those. So these are the different sleeping areas. In the summer, it'll be cool to have this because I figure what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open up that back door build a ramp for it so then this can be completely open um i was thinking about closing it off for the winter just so they could sneak in there be a little warmer be a little more in case but we'll see where that goes so other than that main this main enclosure here on the door i also put in some thermal shades so i know it seems a lot uh, last night I came in here checking on them. I came out a few times and, um, it was a lot colder in this whole area here. And I realized it was just dead space. Wasn't going to do anything for them except make them colder. So I dug through, found some, uh, thermal curtains I had in the house. This one, uh, was a little bit shorter. This green one here. I built a backer just to help with the drafts. I mean, the doors there. Hey, buddy. The door's there. I mean, this whole enclosure's here, so that draft should be good. I know there's rain coming tonight. And then I have the other one over here, which I kind of have locked away now. Um, this is actually got a chain here and a lock on this door, which Winnie's going to be all about going into when I open it, because this is their storage. See if I can back up a little bit. So food for the goat, for the donkey, treats, extra hay, extra anything. Um, it's just a lot easier to have donkey and goat food further up here than where it was by the pigs and have to carry it every time. Still trying to figure out how I can segregate them and separate them while I'm getting the food out, while I'm getting the feed out. I know, buddy. Look out. Watch your face. Back up. Come on. Good girl. Old school lock. Have no key. Hopefully it doesn't ever lock. But actually, yeah. Here, I'll show you. So, this gets tucked in there. We shall see if, when I close this up tonight, it is still standing tomorrow. They chew on everything. Hair, fabric, they chew it on my beard. Obviously, this magnificent bearded wonder can do that. I'll allow it. Uh, so that's what that's going to look like tonight. I'll close that off. Hopefully, that'll help with the draft. It'll keep this area a lot warmer. It's warmer in here already. If you didn't know, they're from the old stove that was in here. This is what the inside looks like. It's a double layer. That's the patch I put on to waterproof it. But there's a layer of insulation in there. So this whole thing's insulated already, the roof. So 
once you get body heat in here, it's crazy. I'm in a hoodie right now. It's, I don't know, 40-ish outside, and I'm sweating. Especially with that and this enclosure and all this seems to help a lot. But there's my, uh, well, let me on this back out. Do another quick. Hey, Moo. Hi, Chip. Just do a quick walk around the bus so everyone can see Ooh, where we're at, where I am. Took a little bit of leveling. The uh, grade up here is down and on an angle. So um, this tire sunk down. This one's flat. I'm getting chased. <laughs> oh, never mind. Chip's chasing Moo. He's excited that there's girls around. That one's on a block. You know, that's pretty, pretty much it. I don't know. That's big sunshade over here. Got their hut. Well, right now it's Donk's hut and Chip's. At some point, maybe Chip will be allowed in the girl's hut. And they could all stay in there together, I'm sure. Jesse won't mind having his own hut to himself. So, I'm uh, trying to pack up quick. Apologize for a little out of breath. The rain is upon us. And I wanted to try and get this video done and clean up enough so that you could see what's going on. But uh, here it is. Here's the Live Free Farm goat bus in all its glory. And there's the goats. Hopefully all three will occupy soon, but currently it is just these two. Winnie and Moe. Right, Chip, Chip.